Hello everyone, welcome to CS for All. I am Sanyul Hussain, your host for today's video and today we will be doing an unknown problem asked recently in the Google interviews. So let's dive straight into the question. So everyone is well aware of Google Maps. Now Google is installing a new feature into the Google Maps. The feature would immediately output the minimum speed required to make a complete trip between two places. So now you are given a sequence of distances between places in the trip. You are also given a threshold time. You need to make a trip within this particular time. Google is asking you to output the minimum speed with which you can cover up the entire trip within the threshold time. A quick note, time will never be in fractions or decimals. For example, if my distances are 5 units, 6 units, 3 units, 9 units and 4 units and the threshold time is 8 units, what can be my minimum speed? Let's take 4 units as our speed and check if we can make an entire trip within the 8 units time. So with a minimum speed of 4 units, we can cover the 5 units distance in 2 units time. We can cover the next 6 units distance again in 2 units time. We can cover the next 3 units distance in 1 unit time. We can cover the next 9 units distance in 3 units time. And finally, we can cover the last 4 units distance in 1 unit time. Hence, the total time taken is 9 units, which is more than our threshold of 8 units. So 4 units speed cannot be the minimum speed possible to make the entire trip. Let's now increase the speed value from 4 to 5 units and check if we can cover the entire trip with 5 units of speed. So with the minimum speed of 5 units, we can cover the 5 units distance in 1 unit time. We can cover the next 6 units distance in 2 unit time. We can cover the next 3 unit distance in 1 unit time. We can again cover the 9 units distance in 2 units time. And finally we can cover the 4 unit distance in 1 unit time. So the total time taken is 7 units which is less than the threshold of 8 units. So 5 unit speed is a valid speed to make the entire trip and so are the bigger values of speed 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on also possible but the minimum possible speed is 5 units and hence 5 would be the answer. Moving forward to the solution, what can be the brute force approach? So we have a clear range of answers. The answers can range between 1 and maximum of the distances provided in the input. So here the maximum is 9 and hence the range becomes 1 to 9. We can iterate from 1 to 9 and check for every element if that is a valid answer. And finally, return the minimum of those valid answer. This process will take at worst big O of n into m where n is the number of elements in the distance array and m is the maximum element in the distance array. Now, the question is can we optimize this? Yes, definitely. Since now we have a range of possible answers, we can apply binary search. We can run a binary search on the range of 1 to 9. Mid is my possible speed. If mid is valid, we assign it to answer and look for better results in the left part of the range. If it is not valid, we look for possible bigger valid speed in the right half of the range. If the current example mid is 5 so we check if mid is valid and it turns out that 5 is actually valid. We assign 5 to answer and then look up for a better value in the left range of mid that is 1 to 4. Turns out we don't have better values and hence return our answer which is 5. 
The time complexity of this approach is big O of n into log m, where n is the size of the distance array and m is the maximum element in the distance array. I will provide the entire code of the solution in the description. So do check it out. And so that's all for today's video. Please feel free to comment any doubts you have. We will try to resolve them. And if you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Bye.